Last week in Maryland, we kicked off the season with my wife's first public land deer. After filling her tag and Rob heading back home, I was left all alone to continue hunting and to try to fill a tag of my own. The next evening, I found myself set up on the edge of an old clear cut leading into some white oaks and it didn't take long for some deer to start filtering in. Yet again, I'm at full draw on a good sized doe, but I just can't bring myself to pull the trigger thinking a buck might not be far behind her. In this case, I was right and had two decent sized bucks come out, but they stayed in the thick stuff, offering no shot and no chance for video. I ended up going home for a few days and after returning to Maryland, I picked up right where I left off and continued the search for a public land buck. I was pretty surprised to see this full albino spike and enjoyed the encounter of this rare animal. I was pushing deep on this public land and just wasn't having the encounters I was hoping for. So midday, I checked a spot close to the road and wouldn't you know it, I jumped a great buck and several does feeding on a white oak. So my plans quickly changed. I just got fully set up with a shooter buck 80 yards from me. You can see the drop the drop the bottom. Trying to get all my camera gear set up. That deer was literally 80 yards away and he was coming back in. I had a bunch of does come in from behind me and they all ran up there toward him. Listen closely and you'll hear this red truck hit a doe as she was crossing the road not 80 yards away. As the evening progressed, I had several deer come in to feed on the white oak not 15 yards from me, and I was hopeful the buck I had seen earlier would come back.
sit this close to the road. Then I have the past two weeks combined, hunting deep. <laughs> Go figure. With the buck not showing, I figured I'd try it again the next morning and see if he didn't make an appearance. And with time running out, I was on doe patrol as well. And this big mature doe was slowly feeding my way. With the doe at 10 yards and a very small window to shoot through, I was patiently waiting for a good clean shot. Big doe down. That was exactly what I was looking for. I wanted a big mature doe. She had no clue I was here. I came in. I found this spot yesterday just kind of by accident. I jumped a nice buck out of here. There was a bunch of does. There's a white oak dropping right here beside me. I'm literally 50 yards from the road. So I hunted here last night. I passed up several does waiting for that buck to come back. He never showed up. So I left my stuff in the tree, came back this morning. And uh, it was about eight o'clock. Those does filtered in here, they crossed the road, came right into this white oak. I had all of them at about 10 yards and I had all this junk over here to my left. Couldn't get a good shot. So I waited and waited and waited and finally she turned broadside. I had a small little hole to slip it through. I was able to get drawn back undetected and uh, put a great shot on her. And she's dead 25 yards away. Absolutely perfect. So I was in this cherry tree right here. And I was up, up in there. So very tight window to shoot through, but... I learned a lot on this trip and had an absolute blast. While I didn't take a buck myself, I consider our Maryland trip a complete success with my wife taking a buck and me a mature doe. And I promise you, I will be back to settle the score on a Maryland public land buck.